We, we started with creating, teaching people, how, teaching founders and business owners how to create landing pages. And now we decide to move forward by teaching founders also how to create websites, how to create mobile apps, how to automate their processes and do a whole lot more. So, but today, what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be learning how to build mobile apps without writing a single line of code. That's what we're going to be doing. It's a quick workshop, it's just a one hour workshop, and in a few minutes we'll be done. And I promise you that in a few minutes, you too, you will learn how to get started with building your own mobile apps without writing a single line of code. So please do mute yourself, do mute yourself. If you want to say something, just leave it on the group and I'll do well to answer you. Please do mute yourself. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. So, uh, uh, my name is Paul Okodua. I am the my name is Paul Okodua, and I am the team lead of No Code for the Five. I have other persons working with me already. Uh, yeah, you if you want to find out more about us, the end last slide will tell you. You can go to No Code for the Five .co and just find out more about what we do and how we do it. So today's discussion. This is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be, this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you what no code is. And also, I'm going to show you the pros and cons of no code. I'm going to show you how to get started with no code. Uh, we're going to build an app with no code. And I'm, make, I'm going to make you an offer at the end of the, of the day. And then you can, make, you can ask me, you know, you can ask me tons of questions that you want. <clears throat> And like I said before, we're going to be going through what is no code, pros and cons of no code, how to get started with no code, how to build an app with no code, and I'm going to be making you an offer which I think you won't be able to resist. So we just keep going. Don't forget to leave your question in No Code for Five. So this is something that we always that we always talk about at No Code for the Five Academy. Uh, we always say creating a, creating a solution isn't about the technology. It's always about solving problems. Creating a solution for your business is not always about the technology. It's always about solving problems. So the way you built it, how long you built it, when you built it, how you built it does not matter to anybody. Especially if you're a business owner, it doesn't matter to your customers. It doesn't matter to anybody. What really matters is this, is the fact that you're solving problems and that's what really matters. So you just focus on solving problems. Uh, you just focus on solving problems and focus less on the technology. And that's one thing that no code help you to do. It helps you focus on the problem and less on the technology. So just keep going. So what is no code? If you, what is no code? You can drop your own idea of no code in a group chat so we can see it. What do you think is no code? You can drop your idea of no code, what you think no code is uh, in the group chat. Now do well. No, just drop it so that everybody can see. What is no code? Drop your own idea, drop your own your thinking of no code in the, in the, in the group chat so, so that it'd be very, very interactive for us today. So uh, at No Code 45, we believe that no code is an alternative way to build products. It's an alternative way to build apps, to build your projects, to build software without writing, without manually writing code or having a very sophisticated knowledge in software development. So understand me, so see what I said. What I said is this, you're still gonna be writing code, but you're not going to be doing it manually, yeah? You're gonna be writing code definitely, but you're not going to be doing it manually, not, not at all. But you're going to be doing it, you're going to be doing it with the help of the platform you're going to be using. Beneath the whole no code story, beneath the whole no code thingy, it's the code. But this time, you're going to be, you're going to be building those applications you're going to be writing those code without really writing it. Some other thing, some application, some app is going to be writing the code for you. That's what you're going to be doing. So that's what no code is. You don't need sophisticated knowledge. You have somebody say, hey, I want to learn programming. I want to learn how to build mobile applications. And what you hear the person do is the person says, I'm going to learn for six months. I'm going to learn for five months. I'm going to learn for 10 months. I'm going to learn for 20, 20, I'm going to learn for a year. But this time, you don't have to learn for a year. You get started with no code today. In two weeks, you should be shipping mobile applications to the Android Play Store as fast as possible. And that's what no code does for you. That's the leverage. That's the leverage that no code gives you. The ability for you to ship stuff, build stuff without even knowing how to code a single thing. So that's the, that's what no code does for you. So there is this um, there is this 
thing that you have to know as you go forward in your no code journey there is low code and there is no code and they have the difference no code is that one that you don't have to write code at all you don't have to write code or whatsoever yeah but for low code you have to write some code you need to add some element of code to your project before it can work really well that's what no low code is so for example for example if you if you've programmed before if you've programmed before if you're using something like javascript to write your programs that's low code the reason why it's low code yes you might say you're coding of course you're coding but the reason why it's low code is because what the machine is actually writing is machine language not javascript everything you're doing in your javascript all the if statements you're writing everything you're writing turn everything you're writing go back again and turn itself to machine language so that your pc can understand without that your pc cannot understand it literally your pc is still using punch card that's what your pc is still using your pc, your PC is using punch card because you do things with zeros and one with your punch card machine languages that's what your pc is still doing but javascript and other programming languages you are creating this abstraction layer where you can do things in a readable format but the computer will turn it into machine languages so low code you have to code your stuff and bring it to life but it's not as tedious as just coding all the way by itself so i just hope you're getting me you can leave your questions in the chat and you can you can just let me know that you're following in the chat section and you can help me clearly uh, so let's talk about the pros the pros and cons of using no code everything that has an advantage definitely have some disadvantage of its own so first of all i'll start with the pros the pros one of the major reason why we at no code 45 use no code is the fact that it's easy to get started with it's super easy to get started with super easy you don't really need anything you just need a browser to, and a PC to get started with no code. You don't really need anything to get started. So it's super easy for you to get started with it. And secondly, the cost is very low. So at some point where you're supposed to be building with, um, you're supposed to be building mobile application with $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, with no code, you can build it for less than 100. If you, especially if you're building it yourself. If you're building it yourself, you can build it for less than $100. You can build it for less than $200. You can build it for less than $50 sometimes. Why? Because you're using no code. That's basically what you're using. So another thing, another reason why we also love using no code is the fact that you have very fast development cycle. You can decide to start, you can, you can start building a no code project today and by in a week you've shipped it out. Uh, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I thought about, we thought about a product we thought, about, we thought about the product at the company here yesterday evening. So the, we, we were having this discussion and it just came up. The product just came up immediately. I would be like, oh, I think this is going to be awesome. People are going to buy this product. And, you know, guess the timeline. Guess the timeline we, 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 we brought for this product. Guess the timeline. The timeline is two weeks. We said, like, oh, we're going to do the Q&A. We're going to do research for this product. We're going to do everything and launch this product on Product Hunt within two weeks just two weeks so you can imagine but if we were going to be writing the code if we're going to be writing code we're going to be doing all those plenty stuff there's no way we'll be able to bring the code bring the product out into the market within two weeks it will be virtually impossible to do that very impossible but with no code you can have very very fast development cycle and another, another thing that we love about no code is that you can make very quick iterations that's another thing we love about no code. You can make very quick iterations. So what I mean by iteration is this. You can make changes super fast. For example, if you were coding and you wanted to make changes to your application, this is how you do it. You will call your developer, you will call your backend engineer, then they will, you, they will, you guys will think it through, you will hold a stand-up meeting, and after that they will tell you this how long it's going to take us to make the changes, make the changes, and after making the changes, we're going to push the new build to the app store, and probably it's going to take you like maybe a week or two weeks or three weeks to actually make that changes. But the thing is that with no code, you can actually make that changes within a few hours, and you've pushed it to the Play Store. Because you're not, you're not writing code manually. So with no code, you can do this and push it into the Play Store within a few hours. And that's the beauty. That's how awesome no code is. But let's talk about the cons. 
So let's talk about the, some of the failures of no code. Number one is limited customization. So let's see it this way. Because there is no, co no code and you're building with a platform, you cannot customize everything the way you want. You cannot just think of an idea out of the bloom and decide to say, I'm going to build it with no code. It's almost impossible for you to do that. Why? Because you're using a platform. You have to work with what you're given. That's the only way you can work. You have to work with what you're given. So that's one thing about no code. But there are amazing tools out there. For example, the one we're going to be building with allows you to customize so many things and to build things so amazingly. That's, that, that's the platform we're going to be using. But there are lots of no-code tools that will not allow you to customize the way you want. You can only customize the way the, the way they, 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 you can only customize the way the platform allows you to customize. That is the only thing you can do about it. So that's um, one of the cons of no-code. Another cons of no-code is limited security. Your app is as secured as the platform itself. But most of these platforms are highly funded. So you see some platforms saying, we just got a funding of 31 million, we just got a funding of 20 million, 100 million. So most of these platforms are really funded. And so you do not really have to bother or worry about security because they follow best practices when they are building their application. They follow best practices when they are using their application, when they are building their application. So you don't really have to bother about um, you know, security, but it's something to think about. So when you're building an app, you follow all the security guidelines that, they, that, that the platform is giving you, so you don't end up having a bad application. So number, number three, migration can be really difficult. That's one of the disadvantages. If you're building from one, for one platform, it can be very difficult for you to migrate to another platform. It can be very difficult for you to migrate to another platform when you are building with one platform. But a similar thing also when you are coding, think about it. If you have built something with JavaScript, it can be very difficult for you to build it with, for you to migrate it to uh, maybe um, Django if you know how to code. But forgive me, these are some coding languages. So if, if you have built something, if you've done the backend of your, you've done the backend of your um, mobile application with Node.js, it can be difficult for you to migrate all the way to another platform, to another uh, um, backend development. It can be very difficult. So the same thing with no code. Migration can be difficult. It will take a while for you to migrate your no code from one no code platform to another one. It can take a while for you to do that. And also, uh, I want to talk about no code platform. What are no code platform? They are simply put, no code platforms are platforms that enable you to build no code application. It's as simple as that. A platform. So these platforms, you just basically use it to drag and drop. Drag and drop. That's what you do in most of these platforms. You just basically go in there, think of the application you want to you want to build and start building it with this application. These platforms will always have three things. They will have a they will have logic, they will have a database and they will they will have a front end. So we have front end, we have logic and we have database. They will have that three things in mind. So why why is it why is it so? Because you have database because you have to store store your your um you, you have to store the data in your application somewhere. That's the reason why they have database. They have front end because your customers or people who are using your application need to be looking at something, and they have logic because your your database and your and your front facing application need to communicate with each other. That's the reason why it's like that. Hey, Collins, you're asking what is Bubble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about it later. Let's just keep going. Thank you very much. So these are a couple, these are a couple of examples. And we teach all, we teach majority of these examples at No Code for the Five Academy. Unicorn. So we use Unicorn for building landing pages. Softer. We use, there's a platform called Softer. We use it for building web application. There's a platform called Download. That's what we're going to be building with today. We use it for building downloadable mobile applications that you can launch on the Play Store. Glide apps, we use Glide, uh, Glide apps for building an application that you can't launch on the Play Store. And Webflow, we use Webflow for building stunning mobile apps and website. Webflow is one of the best tools for building mobile apps without coding. It's super, super awesome. So um, at this time, do you have any questions? If you have more questions, leave it in the chat section. 
If you have any question at this time, please leave it in the chat section so I can answer you as we go forward. Please leave it in the chat section. We have like 30 minutes to go. Just leave it in the chat section so we can go forward with our learning. If you are typing, type really fast. Okay, if you are typing, do type really fast. Uh, it's just we just gonna take a break for questions. Just um, leave your question right there, or you can unmute yourself and just ask question. You can unmute yourself and just ask question. Just make it pretty fast. Or you can type in the chat section. Okay, people are saying questions is going to come later. I guess Climax is still typing. Look, how, uh, how long does it take to move no code to other platform? Okay, um, Collins, how long does it take to move no code to other platform? Okay, um, Climax, I'll answer you. How long does it take to move no code to other platform? So when you build with no code, it doesn't take too long. It doesn't take too long. So what you need is to build your database, is to move your database and other things will follow because everything is in your database. So you move your database and other things will follow. The most important part of your application is the database. Once you're able to move your database, all other things, you can do other things yourself, but you just move your database. So one thing that we do at No Code 45 is to use a standard database instead of the database that the No Code platform is giving us. We use a standard database so that whenever we want to switch platform, we can easily switch the platform to a different. We can easily switch the switch the platform, but not the database. Uh, I just hope you understand that. So uh, it's no code your brand or something. So climbers, um, it's not a personal brand. So like I said before, no code is a way that you build mobile apps or you, you create solutions without writing code. But um, I'm a team lead, so it's not a personal brand. It's a company, No Code 45, it's a company, it's a startup that's helping, that's teaching uh, founders, freelancers how to build stuff without writing a single line of code. So I'm just the team lead and I'm just privileged to be holding this webinar right now. We have all the persons in the, we have all the persons. If you go to our website, you see our team members, I guess. We have other persons in the, in the team, so but I'm just privileged to be holding this webinar right now. So guys, thank you very much for your questions. I just keep moving forward. So um, we're going to be diving into building an app with Adalo, yeah? We're going to be diving into building an app. If you can get your pen and your bio handy, please do. Though I'm still going to send you the, the, the I'm still going to send you the recording of this. I'll drop it in the group later uh, so you can watch it all over again. So I'm going to end this slide right now and get started with building a mobile application in Adalo. So we're using this. We're using the two called Adalo. That's the platform we're going to be using. Remember, we talked about platform, and the platform we're using today is Adalo. Adalo is a tool that enables you to build an amazing application without writing code. And uh, if you're looking forward to if you're looking forward to knowing more about us, you will find us here. No code for the five dot co is where we are. No code for the five dot co. This is where we are. You're still seeing my screen, right? Um, I hope so. So no code for five the code, you find us here is an academy. So we have several we have several courses that you can check out if you want to. Uh, but let's go back. So a download is a tool that enables you to build mobile apps without codes, like I said before. Things that you can build, you can build almost anything. Almost anything that, that does three things, that does four things. Anything that creates data, anything that read data, anything that can update data anything that can delete data. For example, you could build a social media app with Adalo. Why? Because the only thing you do on Instagram, when you go on Instagram, the only thing you do is that you create something, you read something, you update something, and you delete something. Let's see it this way. If you go to your, to your application, if you open your Instagram, you will see, it will tell you to watch new videos, right? What new videos on Reels. So what you are doing is that you are reading something from a database. All those videos are stored somewhere, so you're just reading it. So at some point in time, you will take a beautiful picture and you'll be like, hey, I want to post it. So what are you doing? You're creating. That's what you're doing. That's why people are called creatives, because you're creating. And then at some point, you would say, hey, I don't like this video I posted. Maybe I should edit it all over again. So what, what, what are you doing? You're updating. 
Then at some point, you get tired. You just get fed up and say, I don't like everything I posted on my Instagram account. I want to delete all the videos and delete everything in there. So what are you doing? You're deleting. So you can create an app like Instagram, you can create an app like Facebook, you can create an app like Social Media Messenger on um, on Adalo because that's what Ad those are the kind of apps you can build with Adalo. But really, also you can build things like real estate application, bookstore, e-commerce, um, uh, what else? You can build um, streaming application, video, music streaming application, MP3 player, uh, church application, you know, you can do stuff like this with Adalo. Why? Because those are all the things this application is doing. But one thing that you cannot build with Adalo is anything that requires fast processing. Very, very fast processing. Things like games. You can't build, to, to, you can't build like those 3D games in Adalo. You can build games like, um, you can build games like dictionary game, like uh, spell new word, spell a new word, you know, stuff like that. You can do all those English things on Adalo, but you can't really build anything that requires very, very fast computational combination. Things like games especially, you can't really build stuff like that. You can't really build, right now, you can build so much of a crypto application, like a real-time crypto application with Adalo right now. You can build such, but you can build things like, um, you can build things like, Application that enable you to watch if your if your crypto market is going up. Application that enable you to watch if your crypto market is coming down. Application that enable you to see the coin that people are selling right now. You can build all that, but you see things that require you to compute things so fast. I'm just saying it again so that you don't get your whole dashed up when you decide to build stuff like that. You can't really build it for a client, especially if you're going to be working with a client. You can't build a lot of this. At least not now. Adalo is always making improvement. If you look at the screen right now. They just said they just announced that they just got a, a funding of eight million US dollars, and this eight million US dollars is going to go to research and development, hiring new developer, and doing much more. So they're going to be bringing out more features, lots of features as they go. But really, I just want you to know the things that you can build with Adalo. So, uh, like I said before, these are some of the things that you can build. You can see some persons they build market, they build charts, they build marketplaces. You know. They just build a lot of stuff, real estate application, e-commerce application. So these are some of the things that you can build with Adalo. So how do you get started? Sign up. That's the easiest place to get started with Adalo. Just sign up. Sign up. So when you, sign, when you click on the sign up button, you do not need money to sign up. It's free. When you click on the sign up button, you enter your email, you enter your password, your name. And that's how straightforward it is, and you can start building your mobile application. So then, uh, I have an I have an account already. I'm just going to click on login, like so. And and one other exciting thing that I that I that I see about Adalo is that you can even build a video calling application. You see those applications like those um, e tech, you know, med tech, where you can call a doctor from your house, right? You can build it with Adalo. As fu as funny as it is. You can build those type of application with Adalo, and it's so straightforward for you to build such. You can build it within a few days, and you're done. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open I'm gonna scroll down and just open a new application. Click on new. Yeah, I'm gonna open a new a new application right there. So when you open a new application, but well, let me show you. Just hold on. Let me show you something that is really beautiful. Mm, just hold on. I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you as something, an example of something that that's on on the build screen right here. I'm pretty sure you like it. <clears throat> just take a few minutes to show you all this. Uh, not this one. Just hold on. No, not this one either. So I'm going to show you this application. It's a real estate application and was built entirely on Adalo. What it does is that it enables you to find an apartment to rent, to rent in any area of the city. That's what it does. It's, it's not for a Nigerian client, but it really just enables you to find properties, to find properties in your, in your area for rent. So renting is a very big problem. And so with no code, you're able to create a project like this. You can create a project like this and own it, become a company owner if you want to, 
or you can create a project like this and sell it if you want to. You can create a project like this and anything you want to do with it, you can do with it. You can sell it, you can own it, you can just do anything you want to do with it. So I'm going to just demo this for you right now so you will see the huge potential that no code can really have. Uh, just hold on a little bit. It's still coming up. So Adalo allows you to have this quick preview that allows you to have this quick preview where you can preview anything that you're building in real time. So that's the reason why I told you that it takes, it's so easy for you to make real time changes. Very, very easy for you to make real time changes when you're building with Adalo. Please uh, mute your mic if you're just coming in. Thank you very much. So I just want to demo this application to you so you can see how beautiful it is. It looks like a real application, like a normal application, right? That you can put on the Play Store. So look at the sign up button. We'll click on the sign up button. It's working. Just hold on. We'll click on the sign up. You see the sign up button? It's working. Already have an account. We click on this one. Right there. You can see it's working. Um, so I'm just going to sign up. I'm going to sign up like so. Just going to sign up with my name. No code for the, with our name. No code for the five. Then I'm going to say. Uh, no code for the five, but call. Just gonna say Paul at no code for five. Call. I put a password, and then I put a contact phone number. Then I'll click on the on the sign up. So just what just what's gonna happen? It should sign up. So can you see can you, can you see what's happening? It's we are, we are using a real application right here, a real real estate application right here. The reason why it's pretty slow is because this is a preview. It's not on the Play Store yet. It's not on the Play Store, so that's the reason why it's a bit slow. So it's for an Egyptian company, and it's pretty straightforward. So you can see we have like Zamalek, we have Palm Hills, we have New Gazi. These are cities in, in um, <laughs> these are cities in Egypt that you don't have to worry about. So you can see what we have here. So we have all these beautiful houses. Uh, if you click on it, see what's going to happen. If you click on it, it opens more details. You can see how slick it is. It opens more details. If I click on this top, 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 uh, if I click this, this image, uh, because we're in the preview button, so uh, it's dragging a little bit. But you can see all the, you can see all the details of the application. You can call, you can chat the person on WhatsApp if you want to, and then. I'm just gonna go back. If, you, if I click on the cancel button, it takes me back, you know, all the way back. I can see all the, if I favorite a property, if I scroll down and I favorite a property, I will see it right there in the lock section, right there. If I just scroll down, if I scroll down and I put, and I click on some property and I just favorite them. So when I mean favorite, I mean like I like most of the properties I'm seeing and I want you, you know, I want you come back to this property a whole lot later. So once I favorite them, it comes back here to my favorite tab, just right there. So these are some of the things that you can you can do. You can do with a dialog. Super straightforward. So I'm gonna just for the sake of time, I'm gonna close. If you want to see the application later, just ask me for the link and I'll share with you. And you'll be able to you'll be able to see the application. You'll be able to use it and test it yourself. So uh, so to get started with the, to get started with building your own mobile application. You click on the new button. If you're just you just register on uh, register on uh, on Adalo, click on the new button, and you say you want to build a native mobile app. Native mobile app. It's it's the fact that you want to build something that, that you can put on the Play Store. That's what you want to build. And desktop web web app is something that you can only access via your browser. That's what you're building. So this time we're building the native mobile app. We we'll click on next. And uh, it has templates that you can that you can get started with. But I think if you're a newbie, if you're just getting started, you don't have to get you don't have to get you know get your hands dirty with template. Instead, start with a blank screen and say next. Then here it then tells you to put the name of your application. So I'm going to say the name of our application is Noco for the Five Demo. That's the name of our application. And then I'm going to add some branding to it. I'm going to add some branding to it. I pick uh, uh, my favorite color is blue. Just gonna pick blue color. Uh, this is purple, right? Favorite color is blue, so I'm gonna pick blue and click on the word create. And one thing that Adalo allows you to do is that it allows you to build with a team. So if you if you're a team of two, if you're a team of three, if you're a team of four, you can get started with building with Adalo together. You can work on a project together. 
all you have to do is to invite them to your own team so you can see i have different team different team so you can uh, you can bring them to your own team and whatever you're doing in your application they also will be learning will be seeing what you're doing in your own application so once you're done with that go ahead and click on the word create so when you click on create it brings you a dialog bless you with three different screens one is a sign up screen and secondly is the login screen and thirdly is the home screen so what we're going to build in this what we're going to build in this uh, tutorial we're going to build a a blogging application an application that enable you to you know just share stories and blog on social media you've seen a blog app blogging app right that's the kind of application we're going to be building but hey, I hope you guys are following I mean I know we are few online there are plenty online so if you if you're following just leave me a hi right there just tell me you're following so we can so I know that you're following and I'm not just talking to myself um, so we're going to be building a blogging application a blogging application covers you know has has different different uh, features one of them is that people can read the news right? people can read the news people can see news people can read it that's the major features of a blogging app that I can read the news and I can see the news on the mobile application so I'll be able to sign up I'll be able to log in I'll be able to see all the news that are available and then I'll be able to read them individually the best way that I can so I'm gonna go we're gonna the first thing we want to do with our app remember I said every no code application have three things one of them is that it has the logic it has the database and then it has the the it has the, the, the UX, you know, the user interface where users can interact with the application. So first thing first, we're going to go ahead and create our database. That's the first thing first. I'll click on the plus sign. Click on the plus sign like so. Uh, here, right here we have database. I'll just click on the database like so. And click on add collection. So this collection, I'm just going to call it story. I would say add. Just watch me closely. I'll click on the say what's the what 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 kind of what kind of properties must a story have? A story must have a title, a story must have an image, a story must have a date, a story must have the content itself. So we're just gonna create that title. A story must have a title as the first one, then I'm gonna say add property, and this time we're gonna say date. So a story must have a date published. <clears throat> story must have a date published that's number two then number three the story must have an image so featured image like so the story must have a featured image and next a story must have the content which is the test the story must have the content which is the test so these are this this is what makes up all the stories. All the stories. This is what makes up all the stories. This is how a blog always looks like. So to make sure that this application is cool, we'll click on the we'll just click on the story here and we'll go we'll go add some stories to it. So I'll say add story. I'm just going to find uh, let me just go to BBC News. Yeah, I just go to BBC News and find some cool stories right there. That I can copy and paste. I'm going to copy just one story for the sake of time. Okay. Um, so a story will have a title, remember? So I'm going to copy this one. This is the title of the story. I'll go back to my application. I'll go back to my application and just paste it here as the title. As a title, then date published. I'm just going to choose, choose today's date. Featured image. I'll, I'll copy the featured image from my PC, or the featured image can be a link if I want to. It could be from my PC or it could be a link. Anyone would do. So I'll copy my featured image. Um, okay, I'll just put this one, this footboard. So now I have my featured image. I'm going to add the content to it. So I'll go to go back to the story and copy all the content that I can find right there. 
So I'm just going to copy this one, scroll down, copy, go to my application, go to my application and just copy it. So I'm going to copy it. It can be as long as you want. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be something that is, it doesn't have to be short. It doesn't have to be short at all. It can be as long as you want. So we're done with that. I'm going to say done. So you see what I'm doing? So now we've added stories to the story collection. So next thing I want to do is that I want to add, I want to come back to my home. This is where I'm going to be displaying all the stories. This particular home screen. This is where I'm going to be displaying all the stories. I'll click on the plus sign right there. Click on the plus sign right there. And I want to add something. I want to add a list. So the reason why I want to add the list is because we have a list of stories. We don't have a single story. We want our users to be able to see lots of stories, like list and list and list of stories. That's what we want our users to be able to do, lots of stories. So we'll go down. This is going to be our list. I'll click on it. And the type of list that I want, type of list I want is this card list. That's the type of list I want. So I'm just going to drag it to the screen. That's the reason why I told you that building with no code is majorly dragging and dropping. That's what you do with no code. And then it's going to ask me, how many columns do I want? I'll say one column. I don't want two. I'll say one column, right? So I hope you guys are following. So just let me know that you're following the chat section, okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to say I need just one column. And this guy, Adalo is really smart. And he's going to ask me, what type of list is it? Is it a list of users or is it a list of story? I would say a list of story. Because that's what we're looking for. A list of story. And how do we want to sort it? We we'll sort it by date published. And then we'll come right here and double click inside the story. Just double click inside the story. Scroll down. It's going to ask us, what's going to be the title of your image? You can see it's going to map it. What's going to be the title of your, st of your story? It's going to be the story title. Right? Remember that we created a title. We created the title before, right? Then it's going to ask us, what's going to be the subtitle? We don't, have, we don't need the subtitle. We just leave it like so. Then later it's going to ask us, what's the image? The image is going to be the current story featured image. That's what we wrote. Then that's, that's just basically it. That's just basically it. And what we're doing is that we're creating an application. That's what we're doing right here. We're creating an application that we can launch on the Play Store. And if we highlight the home button, we can drag down. And you see, it just keeps on going. There are tons of stories that just keeps going all the way. Let's preview what we've done so far. Click on the preview button. I just want you to see how the story will display itself. So I'm clicking on the preview button right there. So it's asking us, just like in every normal application, it's asking us to enter our email, asking us to enter our password, and our full name, as was asking us. So we click on the sign sign up. So can you see it? That was pretty fast, right? That was pretty fast. That was like ten minutes. That was pretty fast, right? So we have the story, we have the we have the story, we have the the title, and this we will take this away. That was pretty fast, right? The reason why it's recurring over and over again, so three times, is because we duplicated this story three times in the database. So I'm going to cancel. If you cancel and go back to the database, you can see we have three. These stories are three. So we can click on this one. I'll just edit it and put a different image so you see what I'm talking about. I put a different image. Uh, I'm going to put an image of food, I guess. So I just put a different image. Um, I put a different image here. And say save so I'll click on the other one click right there I put a different image I'll put a different image um, I'm gonna find a different image right now just just hold on a little bit uh, yeah I'll say save so I'm just gonna save it so I'll save a different image and say done I just hope I did. So let me go back to the record again. The image did not change, funny enough. So just hold on, I want to do the same thing again. I want to add a different image entirely. Mm. 
I'm gonna add a different image. Wait, say wait for the image to get in. Say save. Yeah, that particular one has changed. I'm gonna add another image again. So I'm gonna add another image. So the reason why I'm adding this image is, is so that you can see that um, you can you can you can you can display a whole lot on your application read time and you're not gonna have any trouble doing so. So I'm gonna go back again to click on the preview button again. <clears throat> click on the preview button so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the way your application is going to be able to play store. So you can see we have different stories. So stories with picture one, picture two, picture three, and we can keep going on and on and on and on like so. That's how you just create a blogging application. But let's go. So remember when a user click on this, they have to be taken to another screen where they will see the full story, right? They have to be taken to another screen where they will see the full story. I'm going to take this away. So how do you do that? First, let's click on let's click on this screen first of all. Screw down, screw down, and um, let's click on the screen. Okay, let's keep going forward. Let's click on the plus sign, yeah, and say add screen, add another screen, add this screen, this screen with ABBA. Say story, story detail. So say create screen. Yeah, this is a story detail. So when our user click on this story, they will come here and read the full story. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click on this one. Click on this on the first uh, list. Scroll down, and say add action. So remember, I told you that every mobile application will have the action, will have the logic. So this will have the logic, will have the database and the UI. So what we've created so far, we've created the database and the UI. But now it's time for us to add logic. So I'll click on the action, add action. We would say link to story detail screen. So click on it. You can see this arrow, this arrow it just drew this arrow by itself. So it's linking to this story. And so if you scroll down, it tells you this is what I'm sending. I'm sending this data. I'm sending data of this current story, the fresh story to this screen. So every time you click the screen, it sends the data of the current story to this screen. So let's go, let's go work on it. We we'll click on the we we'll click on the plus sign, and the first thing we want to add we want to add an image because we know that our story has a featured image. We want to add an image? That's the first thing we want to add, like so. Don't worry. Um, if you're not getting everything right, you're still gonna have questions, right? You're still gonna ask questions. So we we'll click. Say what's the where's the source of the image? We say database current story featured image. Can see the star sign, so that's the reason it means you're doing something right when you see the star sign. So the next thing we say plus, what we want to add, we want to add the title. So we take we take this text away, click on the plus sign, say current story title. That's what we want to add. Now we'll click on the plus sign again, take it right here, right there, remove it, say click on the plus sign say current story content yeah you're getting me right let's say plus sign again click right here drag it on drag it right there on top so i'm putting it on top of the image see what i'm doing on top of the image so i just want to put the type the date that's what i want to put so click on the plus sign current story date published that's it that's the only thing i want to do there click on right here so I want to just reduce the test. So these are the only things I want to do on this application. So I'm not I'm not giving I'm not giving a lot of consciousness to the styling of the application, but we're just doing this so you can see how easy it is for you to get started with building with no code. So I'm going to click on the preview button now. I'll click on the preview button. And then uh, you should see this. So remember, when we did it before, we can't really click it. But if I click it now, see what's going to happen. See what's going to happen. It's going to open it. So it's opening it. So you see this is the title. And when I scroll down, I can read the article now.
You see how easy it is? This is the title and I can read the article right now. But what two things are wrong. Uh, the date of creation is not showing because it's black. And this guy, you, we can differentiate between the title and uh, we can differentiate between the title and the content itself. So let's go fix that. The title. So let's fix it. Click on the plus sign right there. We'll turn it to mm, let's just turn it to a blue. Turn it to a blue. Then turn it to a bold. Then for the title, we're gonna turn it to a bold and turn it to an 18 character. Like so. Yeah? Then I'll click on the preview button all over again. Click on the preview button. This time I'm gonna click on the second one. So you can see now we have 17 hours ago. That's the title, that's the time it was created. Then we have the the we have the title and now we have the we have the content. So when you're done with reading it, you click on the back sign, it goes back to the page, and then you can you can screw down, you can use your thumb to screw down, click on it, and then you can read more stories. And you can see this type of application. Let me tell you what to do with it. This. this is a simple application, but let me tell you what, what to do with it. People love stories. People love movies. People love movie reviews. One thing that you can do with this type of application is that there's, these are some things we teach in this course. You can be getting free movie reviews from another website. You don't have to copy it yourself, as funny as it sounds. You can use something called an API to be getting free movie reviews from another website. It, your, web, your, your application keep updating by itself as you get reviews. So you put it on a Play Store. People come to your mobile application, see reviews, and you can show them advertisement. Everywhere, every one of these parts, you can show them real advertisement. On the home screen, on the title screen, you can show them real advertisement and really make money from this. So this is how easy it is for you to create an application that anybody or everybody can use. Um, this is how far we can go in this particular tutorial. But well, let me know, do you have questions yet? Please uh, unmute yourself and ask a question calmly. Or if you don't want to unmute yourself, leave it in the chat section and I'll do well to answer you. Thank you. Is everyone there? You can unmute yourself to ask your questions if you want to, or you can leave it in the chat section and I'll do what to answer you. So I, 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 I heard someone has unmuted himself, he, he's or herself. So just go ahead and ask your questions. I can hear you. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Class, not too long ago. Okay. Everything that you have said so far is, is interesting. Okay. But Thank you. I want to know when when you are building building an app uh, on, and you want to launch it. Okay. How possible it is for you to gather um, the components, the parts, and everything? No, I wasn't in the class. So I just want to know. Okay, okay, thank you very much for that question. So what he's saying is that how possible it is for you to upload your app to the Play Store. It's very possible. When you, The thing is that Adalo gives you, you need three things to upload your app to the Play Store. One of them is you need the APK file. So once you are done with building your application, you generate the APK file. That's number one. Number two, you need terms and conditions. You know what you're going to be using people's data for because you're going to be getting, you're going to be getting people's, um, you're going to be getting people's username, passwords, and the rest. So they have to know what you're going to be using it for. Your terms and condition, and number three, your privacy policy. That's those are three things you need. So once you have all that stuff, you can get the APK file and then upload it to. You can upload it to, um, uh, upload it to Play Store. You know, upload it to the Play Store. And then Google, you give Google time, you know, you give the I, the Apple Store or the Google Play Store time to, um, to to you know just uh, what's it called to approve your application. So it's easy, you can do that. So Collins, uh, people, you're asking.
I hope I've answered your question. If you have, I have another question, you can put it in the chat yes. section, okay? Yes. Yes. So people, you're asking. Thank you. You're welcome. If I'm building an e-commerce app, are we going to use Adalo? Yes. If you're building an e-commerce app, you can use Adalo. If you're building a real estate app, you can use Adalo. If you're building a chat application, you can use Adalo. If you're building a cryptocurrency monitoring application, you can use Adalo. So yeah, you can do that. Um, so is, the, is Adalo an app? Adalo is a platform, it's a web application. Yeah, just think of it like that. It's not a mobile app, but it's a web application that allows you to build other web applications. So we're just, uh, in no-code space, we just call it platform. That's what we call it. So we just call it a platform. So I think Adalo itself is a platform. Uh, hey, hey, Mercy. Yeah, of course, the class is recorded. The class is recorded and um, we'll drop it, we'll edit it and then drop it on the on the on the group on the community group right here on the no code academic group right here we'll drop it right here and you can watch it over and over and over again thank you so much for attending the class really appreciate it so if there's no question anymore i'll just move forward so i'm going to end my, i'm going to stop the screen right now stop the screen right now and then go back to the slide um so i'm, I'm going to open i'm just going to open no code 45 website so this is our website and we have we have uh, a couple of we have a tutorial that we've created here. It's an Adalo and we're offering everyone who is on this call right now a super 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 huge discount. So I'm gonna open it. So what you will learn is that you learn how to build mobile apps that lives on the Play Store without coding in two weeks. Uh, you can check out these pages right now, local45.com, just scroll down to this page where I am right now, you can check it out. So you learn how to build mobile apps that live on the Play Store within two weeks without writing a single line of code. Just like the way I've created it, right? I've, I've created that particular application right now. There are lots of things that you have to know to be able to create it, stuff, to be able to create stuff like the like the Play Store, to be able to create tons of other kind of applications that you want to create. So you have to understand the logic, you have to understand the database, you have to understand everything in between. So in order for you to be able to do that, uh, we've created a set self-paced uh, course for you that you can use to you can learn at your own pace but we, we can say that if you learn it every day within two weeks you should be very comfortable building um, your own application and you're not learning alone you're going to be learning you're going to be part of the community you have access to us during the period of your learning and you'll be able to ask as many questions as possible you'll be able to send us a chat and we'll definitely reply you and tell you the things that you're missing and what you should do when you have problems. So, uh, uh, the, the, this particular course really contains the fundamentals and advanced. So, it's an all-in-one course. You learn the fundamentals and then you also learn the advanced part of it. You understand Adalu fundamentals. We break it into real fundamentals and also you, you build real projects. In this course, we build four real projects. We build projects in the real estate sector, we use a fintech product and we build an infotech product uh, project uh, it's just something that those are some of the popular apps that uh, if, you, if you're going to be freelancing with this those are some of the popular apps that clients are going to be asking you to build for them and also um, we, will t we will show you how to communicate with the standard services um, you, when you take the course i'm pretty sure you learn what is the standard services you know there are some things that your app cannot do there are lots of things that your app cannot do for example video call your app cannot ordinarily do video call but if you connect with the standard services, to be able to do that. Uh, for example, another example is the fact that you can't know the current cryptocurrency price all by yourself. You need an external application for you to be able to do that. So if you connect to that application, you'll be able to do that for yourself. And also, we'll show you how to launch your app on Play Store immediately. So uh, this is some of the apps, like, like I said, you're going to build in a blogging application, you're building an online store, You'll be building a learning management application all the way. This is how beautiful some of your apps will look like. An online store, a learning management application, that's what you're going to build. So the curriculum is huge. So these are lots of things you're going to be learning. The curriculum is huge. Lots of things to learn. Lots of projects to build in this course, all right? No, no, no. You don't need to buy a domain. You don't need to buy a domain for you to build an app on a dial of P-Boy. You, you don't need to buy a domain. So these are some of the projects that, we could, that, that this course covers. You build a blogging application. You build a 
you build a blogging application, you build a simple directory, you build an online store, you build a learning management system, you build a, you build a chat app. So these are so many things that you're going to be building in this course. And who is the course for? The course is for you if you're a startup founder, if you want to build solutions in the market. The course is for you if you are a freelancer. The course is for you if you are somebody who just want to build and sell stuff, if you're a maker or if you're an employee, if you want to, you know, you want to build stuff for your company, the course is for you. If you're an enterprise, if you own a very large company, the course is also for you. So we've had other persons take this course and it's been, you can read through some of their testimonies and it's been awesome. It's been super awesome for them. So we also have um, some, some questions there. Some of the questions that we get people asking us a lot is, how long does it take to learn? What platform are you building with? We're building with Adalo. Um, what's the advantage of building with no code, of using this builder? Do I need to have experience? No, you don't need to have experience. Do I need to know how to use CSS? No, you don't need to know how to use CSS. How do I get started? You just get started by clicking on any of the link right there. So um, if you want to get started, the course right there today, but still at this time, your know, last group is selling it for only 10 grand, 10,000 naira for this course, but we're giving you a discount of 40,000 naira. So if you go to the website right now and, and click on Get Course Now, it will take you to an LMS platform called Kobo Course right here. So you can see that we're giving you a whooping slash of around 40,000 naira. Yeah, that's what we're giving you a slash of, a slash of 30,000 naira. And today you're only getting it for 10,000 naira and it's going to be self paced. Uh, P boy, you said apart from Adalo, what other platform can you use? So if we go back to our website right there, so I'm gonna <clears throat> just just gonna digress a little bit. If you go back to our website, you would see that we have other courses that we're creating in line. So we have um, Airtable, we have another tool called Glide, and we're building a whole lot of other tools. There are other platforms out there, but I can assure you that Adalo is the simplest, is the easiest to learn, is easiest to learn. And it's just very, very flexible for you to launch your mobile application with no code. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to <clears throat> with no code. So today, you're, you're going you're, you're gonna to get all this course, everything with, with, everything I said you're going to learn for only uh, 10,000 naira today if you decide to sign up today. So you'll be saving yourself 20 grand if you decide to sign up today. And you can see the, the application, it's, the, the cost is super robust. The, what you're going to be learning is super robust. You're going to be part of a community. You're going to learn a whole lot. And uh, at the end of two weeks, we can really assure you that you will be launching your own application within, within the next two weeks. You will be building your own application within the next two weeks. You will be very comfortable. If you're going to be building it for somebody and making money, if you're going to be building it for somebody and making money, you should be comfortably charging around 500 grand, 400 grand for in, for a, in an application like this. Why? The reason why you're charging less because you're building it with no code, but it doesn't really matter. But the reason why you're just charging less is because you're building it with, with no code. But other persons who are building with code can charge as much as high as that. As high as 1.2 million, 2 million, but it doesn't matter. If you know what you're doing, if you know your onion, you can charge as much as that simply by building with this tool. So um, that's it for me. If you have any question, feel free to unmute yourself. And just ask. I'll drop the link to get in the course in the chat section right now so you can check it out. So I just dropped the link in the Play Store, and I just dropped the link on the, in the chat section. Feel free to you know click on it, check it out, and see if it's something that you like to have. If it's something that you like to have, go ahead and purchase it today, as we're giving you a discount. And I'm pretty sure we, you you can just go ahead and start building mobile application for yourself. Uh, the deadline for the registration. Uh, the price is going to be like so for this weekend. It's going to be like so for this weekend. And we will take it up again until we decide to. It's going to be like this for this weekend, and we'll take it up again until we decide to 
if we decide to give another discount based on what the team did, what the team agree upon, it's fine. But we just it's just good for this weekend. The earlier you purchase it, the better it's gonna be for you. As of now, it's for this weekend. But you just go ahead and you know make a purchase, start learning as fast as possible. The better the faster you learn, the faster you're gonna start building your mobile application. The earlier you're going to launch your stuff into the Play Store and the better, the, the faster you're going to be building things that you want to build and solving problems for yourself. Any other question? Does anyone have any question? Um, Okay, um, P-Boy, thank you so much for attending. Mercy, thank you so much. Testimony, thank you so much for attending. Uh, Kinsley, Gania, Esther, thank you so much for attending. So we're going to do this next weekend also. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be talking about a different... A different. We're going to be talking about something that has to do... We're going to be talking about no-code in a different light by next week. So just, you know, put it on your schedule. This is a community for you. Uh, twice in a week, the... Twice in a week, the group will be open for us to have useful conversation. Feel free to always join if you want to, to always join so you can learn a whole lot about no code and see all the opportunities in the no code space. I can assure you that if you start building with no code today, you'll be among the first few persons in Nigeria to get into the no code frenzy, and I'm sure you'll be able to do an explore with it. So, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for attending. The replay is going to be available. I'll drop the replay on the group before. Um, before midnight today so probably when you wake up in the morning you'll be able to see you'll be able to watch the replay over and again over and over again and see what you can do with a dialogue and how, what you can do with the dialogue and how you can get your hands dirty and don't forget the link is also there if you the link is also there if you think yeah building the mobile application is the right thing for you uh, that would be awesome uh, people you said this class would have been better on whatsapp uh, the reason why we didn't hold it on whatsapp is because we can't really share a screen on whatsapp that's the reason why we didn't hold it on WhatsApp. We're thinking Zoom, but because we think that Zoom really, you know, consumes your, your data a lot. So that's the reason why we didn't hold it on Zoom. Zoom would have been our choice, our preferred choice. But we know people complain about data on Zoom, but, you know, Telegram has a way of shrinking the data you're using on your mobile phone. That's the reason why we decided to use this. Um, during the week, there will also be some sort of a giveaway. So just... Um, just keep in touch keep in touch and stay you know just watch out in the group there's going to be a giveaway during the week and i'm sure i just hope you'll be the best first person to get it once again thank you so much for attending this webinar really appreciate you spending your time with us today thank you for everybody at noco 45 I want to say thank you and have a beautiful beautiful lovely weekend ahead thank you very much oh telegram does not have a strong security oh sorry about that we didn't know um maybe we'll find a tip probably we'll find a way probably we'll find a way around it but for now we're just going to be using telegram for now until we migrate to our own community platform thank you very much people for attending have a lovely weekend everybody enjoy yourself don't forget the link is right there thank you